Hey, we're the Mooskies. We just had a terrible winter and now this is our first time into Moose Lake. And with a terrible winter comes lots of bugs, but we're equipped. Yeah, we're ready. Um, should be some fun fishing and a lot of cool stuff to look at and a special uh, bush flight. Oh yeah. Yeah, look for the flight. Off we go, first time in 23. All loaded up for some big pike action. Hey, before we uh, hike into that canoe, you know, we might as well take a look at the lay of the land. I think it was about 2008 when uh, I first came up here and I decided, hey man, I'm bringing a canoe. I'm going to make this <clears throat> last as long as possible. So we've been coming up here for quite a while. And uh, do a lot of hiking, look for uh, shed antlers, and then do a little bit of fishing or photography. There's Moose Lake right there. And uh, there's one thing I can't do is reveal too much because uh, some of my old co-workers and people have always been trying to find this spot that I brag about, you know. And... Uh, it's uh it's remote it takes a lot to hike in and out of there but it's well worth it time to drop the flaps and uh get down and see if i can land in this gravel pit i'll tell you what i was eyeballing this area for quite some time before i got the courage to fly out here and uh it was one of my funnest flights here's the here's the approach <laughs> and you know it, man. If there's trees, my plane's going to probably find them. But it was a blast. So let's uh, let's get out and do some uh, canoeing, fishing. Actually, I think I did better than I had <laughs> planned. I, I really was worried about some of the <sighs> flying here, eh? Mm -hmm. I think it's a success. It's not in a tree, is it? <laughs> it's all in one piece, <laughs> folks. But I'm not going to do another takeoff and landing to edit in a good landing. I'm happy. You see that big burned out old dead tree? I swear underneath it looks like a cave, man. There's either bears go in there and hibernate or wolves or something have a den in there. I want to hike over there and look in there. You no. can do that. Bro. And Kit no. said, you can do that. <laughs> but I'm not. Hey. So we're almost to the canoe. And uh, this, we know the lake where this water comes from. This is one of the feeders to Moose, Moose Lake. There's another creek uh, on the other side. So, yeah, I don't know if I ever really talked much about Moose Lake. I mean, it has two inlets and one outlet. And uh, we brought a portable fish finder in here once. And we marked as deep as 23 feet. And uh, it's like only six acres. So, and there's monster pike in there. That's the only thing we ever caught. But uh, so I'm assuming that's what they are. That's all there is. Hey, check this out. What do you call these flowers? I don't know, I can't remember. But when I looked them up, they only last about a day. Kit, Kit was looking these up. These things, these little flowers supposedly only, they only stay out for like a day. We picked a great day to come to Moose Lake. We've never seen them here before, but they must have been here. We just weren't here on the right day. 
All right, we made it. Looks like uh, the canoe survived a tree falling on it quite well. Stood up to it. I got a 20 pound mineral block in my backpack. That's why I'm huffing and puffing. That was a son of a gun of a hike. So here we are, you know. Oh, where's our stringer? There he is. Oh, yeah, baby. Is that a big one? I don't know. He's a feister. Oh yeah, he's he's got some beef. <laughs> Is he a thick one? Yeah, pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. He's a nice one. Oh yeah, let him tire out a little bit before I grab him. Perfect pickling size. Yeah, I was hoping for that. We can have pickles when our company starts coming. Yeah, baby. Gonna do some pickling. <laughs> That's a dandy, eh? That's a nice one. Yeah, perfect size. Great. After a long winter, we are back at the spot. This is the mineral lick. All kinds of tracks. Look at that stump, eh? Wow. Here is the uh, camera that sat out all winter. Oh, it's probably got a few secrets, eh? Yeah, it'll be fun to see. Holy cow. I brought another, I brought a 20 pounder. This is just gonna turn into the biggest wallow but very cool. Okay. Kit's taking a break. I got a mess to clean up. We got a new mineral lick. I got one camera over there looking over this way. But I have four cameras that are all pointed at the water it's just like might as well make it just like a summer theme moose on the water oh, it is absolutely gorgeous i think i'm going to stretch out for a few eat a cliff bar Maybe we'll go catch another pickle fish. Eh? What a day at Moose Lake. My goodness. It's gorgeous. It is. A little bit of fish action. Ooh, that could have been a hit. But 
you know, they just aren't really hitting today, I guess. But I... I gotta try to get my boot. It's 80, and bugs, the bugs are unbelievable. And, uh, you know, just a lot of heat. And to be honest, you know, I'm like, oh man, this is whooping my butt. And I'm like, what could be wrong? And then I, you know. Well, it's 80. I'm 63 years old. I, I, uh, I don't think of too many of my buddies my age that do that kind of, you know, hiking and Nobody shit. does. They go to Las Vegas. We're the muskies. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> Are you guys watching us from the casino? <laughs> Bullshit. There's a lot of people that are outdoor, but I mean, oh my God, so uneven ground everywhere, and it's exhausting. I just seen a woodpecker hole. You see that sucker up there? Man, we've seen so much beauty today. We were just immersed in beauty, and uh, it seems like we're going to have a, a average moose year. From the sign we saw, I would imagine there's going to be a couple of bulls. There'll probably be a, a couple of different cows and a calf, right? You know, yep. maybe a few more, maybe a couple of Maybe extra. some young teenage moose. Yeah, that, you know, and then there might be a moose that passes by. And um, we got four cameras that are mounted looking directly over water. And, uh, that, you know, I'm just looking for something, if I get lucky, that I could, uh, you know, print or, you know, not that it's any kind of venture or anything. Just print it for my own wall and give them away as uh, Christmas gifts to people that think moose suck or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, guess what? We, uh. Oh, I think Bob got your name. Oh, <laughs> it looks like you're getting picture. moose pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I honestly believe that everyone that's received them has liked them. <sighs> eh? Yeah, I think so. Well, I had an idea that I've been tossing around in my head for the last couple of years, and I've said it over and over. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a tamarack tree in the yard? So we were going to get dig one today, but... It's too hot, there's too many bugs, and we're too tired, so the tamaracks will have to wait for another day. I don't know. You want me to try real quick? I don't know. Let me just see how the soil Aren't is. Aren't you worn out? Yeah. Okay. But that's all right. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. It was a good day. Hey. Here we go, a little sample. <laughs> oh, there's some snow. Yeah, I had, oh, there's a fissure. I had so many pictures. And sometimes it's hard to tell fall from spring, you know. I think we left this. There, there's spring right there. Yeah. They come out of the winter really rough looking. Anyway, I think it was a success. There's a baby laying down, a little one. Yeah, there's a couple. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. I love going in here. Uh, we'll be back in the fall to see what kind of pictures we get. Maybe some good water pics with a big bowl or something. Thanks for watching.